now see a force between two parallel conductors and then we have to define the ampere. Now see there are two conductors like conductor A and conductor B. Current is going I A to this side and I B is to this side. In both the conductors current is flowing in the same direction. So, these are the two parallel conductors separated by a distance D. Now, say here in this case conductor A has got magnetic field around it which we can calculate by using right hand thumb rule and now similarly the current B A conductor B has got magnetic field around it. So, see here conductor B is lying in the magnetic field of the conductor A and conductor A is lying in the magnetic field of the B. So, suppose conductor A is lying in the magnetic field of the B or the B is in A, then they are experiencing magnetic force according to the formula F is equal to L i into L cross B. So, force is perpendicular to L and B. So, by using the cross product of the two vectors, we can find the direction of the force acting on each other. So, now see at this point magnetic field due to conductor A at the point here for the B that is here into the plane of the paper. So, perpendicularly into the plane of the paper and current is going this side. So, using this right hand uh, the cross product we can get the direction of force on B due to A this side that is towards A. Similarly, we can get the force acting on A due to B that will be here to this side that is your force on this is A due to B and the, at the for the conductor B magnetic field will be here outward to the plane of the this board. It means perpendicular towards you. So, now see for the conductor B, B A we can get the magnetic field due to conductor A is equal to mu naught I 1 upon 2 pi D. I A is the current flowing through conductor A, D is the separation between these two conductors. Then force on the conductor B of this length L is equal to force is equal to theta is 90 degrees. So, we can write here I B into L is the length of this and then B we can write mu naught I A upon 2 pi D. So, this is your force on B due to A. So, we can write F B A is equal to mu naught I A I B L divided by 2 pi D. Similarly, the force on the conductor A due to B, we can write F A B is equal to mu naught I A I B L upon 2 pi D. Both the forces are having the same magnitude and force on A due to B is acting towards B and force on B due to A is acting towards A. It means these two conductors are attracting each other. So, now see here the force acting on B due to A is given this. So, we can also write F B A upon L is equal to mu naught I A I B upon 2 pi D. Now, if you are taking D is equal to 1 meter, I A I B is equal to 1 ampere and put the value of mean mu naught you will be getting F B A upon L is equal to 4 pi into 10 raised to power minus 7 upon 2 pi into 1 these two will get cancelled you will be getting 2 into 10 raised to 10 raised power minus 7 Newton per meter. So, now from here we can define 1 ampere. So, see here when these two wire are placed at a distance of 1 meter and they are attracted or repelled by the force of this 2 into 10 raise power minus 7 Newton per meter, then we say the current flowing through these two conductor is equal to 1 ampere. Now, these conductors are placed in vacuum. Similarly, if you have taken the two conductors and the direction of current is opposite to each other like this if you have taken suppose one conductor is here where we can take I A and another conductor here I have taken I B. Both are again separated by a distance D here. So, these two conductor will repel to each other that is F B A to this side and F A B is to this side but the formula or the magnitude of the force will remain same for the unit length 
but these two conductors will be repelling each other. 